Friday night hoops in the city of churches as the Adelaide 36ers host the Sydney Kings at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. The Kings are looking to steady after a mixed weekend while 2024 has been kind to Adelaide and its interim coach, Scott Ninnis. Another big crowd piling into the end centre. They're queued up out on Port Road and they're ready to roll for a big Friday night between the Sixers and the Kings. So a couple of traditional rivals in the National Basketball League kick us off on a Friday night. Adelaide in those stunning blue retro unis and the Kings in the away white pinstripe. Vasiljevic looking to get going early. They go inside to Hunter or to Humphreys. He and Hunter will be a great matchup, and that's the way they'd like to start. Another sellout at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre tonight. Massive crowds all season. And a credit to the sports mad people in that beautiful city. Fast break opportunity for the Sixers, and Marshall gets it home. Oh, Adams puts the moves on. That's gorgeous. Vasiljevic the step back, drains it. <laughs> That's tough. Oh, can't get it to go, but Bolden rips down another offensive rebound and puts it back in. Take away here for the Sixers and Wiley throws it down. He's quite noy. Hunter and Humphreys. Look out. Hey. Adams coming downhill. Great pass, great give and go. DJ leans in and banks it in. Seven nothing run for the Sixers. Jalen Galloway snaps that in half. He's stroking it from outside is Trey Cowell. Beautiful find from Adams underneath to Kuat Noy. An absolute laser of a pass. Isaac Humphreys gets one to go. Six is out and running. DJ is going all the way, and the lead is 10. DJ Hogue attacking the rim. Wiley with some good defense, but Hogue's just a little bit too strong. Liz Valentine from outside, a finally a fourth three pointer for the Kings. Time winding down in this third period. Valentine gets to his spot and connects to beat the buzzer at three-quarter time. So Adelaide scored 16 of the first 18 points of the quarter. And then Sydney finished with 16 of the last 17 points in the quarter. Spot on. It was a strange, strange turn as Humphreys turns around and hits. Mellowatch is wide open. So Kings by three. DJ can tie it up. That one was way off the window. And Humphreys puts it back in. One point ball game. And it's prime for Vasiljevic to make some big plays down the stretch. That might be the first of them. Last seven points of the game for the Sixers before that from Angus Glover. Vasiljevic keeps it alive. Towing the paint on the sideline. Gets down low and finds Detch. What a pass. Beautiful pass by Vasiljevic. Big bucket, big six-point lead. Galloway to seal it. Boom. Noy somehow handled the pass. Mellowatch underneath, Valentine, Adams in the corner. Cans one. Point. Why not a turnover to finish it off for the Sixers? Adams from outside, buries another one. Glover to try and close the gap. Hunter can and was fouled. Why? Wow. 
So 2.9 remaining. The full court pass finds Kadee. And one more for the road. Sunday Ditch splashes it in. And once again gives this Adelaide crowd something to crow about. Yeah, Isaac Humphrey's very emotional at the moment as well. That's a big win. Huge win, yeah. Uh, you know what? We've had a really good run and we wanted to just keep going. Uh, like I've, I've said a few times now, we're fighting, fighting, fighting for, spot, for a spot. Um, it's only one job, you know, of our weekend. We've got another really big game on the... Uh, uh, I don't even know what day it is right now, but um, we've got another big game this round against Tassie, so we're just going to have to back it up. But, yeah, that was a great effort by the boys. Tell us, you had 10 points in the last quarter. You had to dig deep. Sydney had you where they yeah. wanted you for the moment. How did you turn it around? Uh, I think just surveying, watching what they were giving me, what they weren't giving me, and then, uh, the, yeah, my team sort of started to trust me a little more in the fourth. So, um, look, I'll do my best with the ball, but, you know, if it's not my night, it's not my night, but it happened to be tonight, so. You kept Sydney to 20 points less than they've scored their last three games. A team in the 70s again. The defence is standing up. Yeah, defensively, we want to we be better at that. Um, we know that's the key to our game uh, and winning, so... We, we were not too good on the O boards, but uh, we'll, we'll evaluate that and be better. But defence is, is important, you know, and it, it gets us going. Great win. All the best in Tassie on Sunday. Thanks, Coach. Cheers. Great to have you with us for another Saturday double header of Hungry Jacks NBL. We are working our way through a Brisbane warm up here, Brad. And the Bullets, they come here having beaten Illawarra twice already this season, albeit by skinny margins. It's a big game for the Hawks, but maybe bigger for Brisbane, who are trying to hold fourth spot by winning away from Nissan Arena. They've been brilliant all year, and that's what they're going to keep trying for now. This team has been outstanding. They're climbing up ladder. I said it in the opener. They want to get home court advantage, and in the play-in, that's a key. This team's very good, but they're up against a very red-hot Illawarra. So it's the Bullets who control the tip, and we'll have a chance to open scoring here. Harrison down low. It's Frolin, double team, has to release the ball. They get it outside, and the opening shot of the game drops for Sam McDaniel. He looks to get inside as well. Hawks score more points inside the paint than any other team, and that's when they open their account in this one. Robinson, clean up his own mess there. Shot clock works to five. Lee beats the corner, and the first three of the game for the Hawks. Just adds another string to his bow as Justin Robinson gets downhill. Gets him an easy deuce. I think he said he was too small as well. No, he did. I think he did. Bannon got rid of his opponent. Baines from close range with the finishing touches. Hammer Hickey hands over oh, and getting down to the baseline. And Todd Blanchard has still got the legs to get upstairs. Good pass. And there's a nice finish from Lucky Albright. Well, well done, men. Great to see you. I know you're hoping for a big send off, and the Hawks can give you that today, Bob. There we go. Oh, look, there we go. Let's go, Hawks, baby. Woo! Gary Clark's first points in the game as well, a three ball that gives the Hawks a double figure margin. Let's cough it up. Good pass. Inside they find the big man once more, just making room for himself against Frolling and easily at 220 centimetres, just pulling one down. The Hawks looking to make a playoff run here against another team in Brisbane who are fighting for a top six finish. It's fine. Penetration good. Attracted the attention for Casey Prather in the corner. Just their third triple of the game for Brisbane. They're back to within one. There's Gary Clark starting to be a little bit aggressive himself. Sobe, the rock. One of two from the field for his two points. He picks up the dribble and forced into a poor pass there. Cut out by Clark. Robinson in support. He looks at night between two and comes up with a finish. Finish. That was pretty to watch there. So being a mismatch, pulls up on Lockie Albrecht, drains the triple, and all of a sudden the Brisbane bullet bullets have hit the lead here. Shot clock to 10, puts it on the deck. And a great recovery there from Blackfield, who throws it out of there. Fair Brisbane off to a good start, led by half a dozen. 
for the Warriors took over by 10 in the second. And now Brisbane are coming here in the third. And Isaac White gets it done with a chance at a three-point play. Less than optimal at the moment. But it's not about how, it's how many. And Baines knocks down the two. It's Robinson battling his way up the floor. Flexing on them as well. Adds to his tally. 14 now. Sobe taking on Robinson, getting it done. The Hawks can win it. Oh, look at this guy. But look at this guy. The Bullets with problems here. They've scored just six points in this last quarter. They find themselves six points down. They need a bucket. Bannon couldn't get it done initially, but stayed with it to break the drought. Inside the last 60 seconds, Hawks with possession up two. Clark sizing up Bannon. Decides to pull the trigger. Good option. Big play, Gary Clark. He's got 17 to lead all scorers. And the Hawks lead by five. Favour of the Hawks. Smith, fire over Juice. Still can't get it done. Robinson with it. Good support running up the floor. Oh, oh Gabo! In style. What a finish it, Gabo! Big finish from the Illawarra Hawks here at both ends of the floor. They want another one. And want some percentage builders as well. Full time at the Win Entertainment Centre and the Illawarra Hawks have charged into the top four on the back of a three-game winning streak. They've defeated the Brisbane Bullets here 89-76. to Well, it doesn't seem that long ago that the Perth Wildcats were 2-5 and five to start the season. There was crisis talks and things looked like they were in disarray. We fast forward a couple of months and a win today will lock away a top two position for Perth. For the New Zealand Breakers, they simply must keep winning. A win for the Wildcats. And top two is locked in. A win for the Breakers. One step closer to play in action. Cheatham top of the key. Almost travel. Little turnaround goes, and the Breakers have scored the first five. Matiang went straight up, no foul. Will Stavitz just from the corner. The Breakers have started fast. And that's what he does. He'll do a little extra pass for Webster. Perth with their first field goal of the afternoon. You know what he has to do? Count that. He has to become best friends with that point guard like I do. Here is Liar for first look. Got it. Do little knocks it down in the mid range. He's been quiet. Do has been quiet. Sort of the last couple of games, but I assume it had something to do with the concussion that he went through. Defensive player of the year, how far up? That conversation is he, do you think? He's close. There, he's close. Great shot clock for New Zealand. Lamb backs in. But right now, with Lamb walking off, and with Cheatham in a bit of foul trouble, yeah. it puts a lot of pressure on some of those other New Zealand swings and fours to get it done. And Jackson Cartwright steps up. Usher gets one at the rim. And I don't care how well the first Wildcats play, it just doesn't seem like the Wildcats unless Bryce Cotton's going at it. And there's two more for Jackson Cartwright. And he's in the double figures now. Jackson Cartwright has pinned up. Helps himself at the other end. I'm calling a one out, four on the baseline, and just let him go to work. This time pulls up and two more. Only <laughs> Arthur with two feet in the paint finds Matia. Oh my! <laughs> Twelve point lead. What is going on there? Matia did well, not the foul. We pinned her off balance. Oh, oh, Stubbins just lays it up. And 
Bryce Cotton is not happy. You don't often see that sort of emotion from the competition's best player. He's 0 5 from the field. New Zealand have been very physical with him from the opening tip. And the frustration has boiled over. He's pinned around one. Cotton 0 5 in the game so far. Here he comes. Tip in is good. Congratulations to Damos. Got his kids, Maggie and Bonnie and Poppy, here. His wife, Britt, and as he mentioned, so many of his family and friends. And the the got, game. Nepier's got a couple of them. And then on the back end right there, that's a mismatch. One. That doesn't work in Perth's favor. It hurts them at the other end with the three. Point separates these two. That's on Zyla. Cheating. Jackson Cartwright out of the game as well. He's with Stavichis this time. Top of the key. Buries it. 19 point lead now for the visitors. Who have come up short twice this year already. A little close range dunk for Pinder. Cotton, one of eight for the game. It's all running through Keanu Pinder, and why not? Do a little again in the mid range. They've scored the last six. Cheatham drives and scores. I don't know about that, dude. Well, that was a tough series there for Sarez. Cotton wanted him to stay out on the three-point line in that offensive possession before. Pender nice with the left off the glass. Pass inside. Vision from Jackson Cartwright for Matiang. Oh. Cotton scores from underneath. Wagstaff in transition at the other end. Knocked everyone over. Wagstaff's down behind play. Pinder's down behind play. Liafa wide open. Big hit. Wagstaff has been enormous. Not that time, though. Offensive rebound and the putback from Ty Webster. Wildcats fans stand as one. Matiang through the lane and scores. Big win this afternoon for the New Zealand Breakers. They're not there yet, but they sound a warning to the rest of the competition. If we get there, fear us. That's 100% correct, and led by that man right there, Parker Jackson Cartwright, who set the tenor for this game in the first half. Looking up in the crowd, telling them to be quiet. Now, this is line. my house today. <laughs> get in line. But a fantastic effort as a group to get an 11-point win out at RAC, and he's a footlocker player of the game.